the six stages of grief. The stages of grief are a popular model often used to examine the many complicated emotions surrounding loss. These stages include one, shock and denial. This is a state of disbelief and numbed feelings. the art of making bad decisions, of constructing self-made prisons in the shape of social panopticism, left bereft by the theft of purpose, that perhaps never even existed. Imposter syndrome again resurfaced as the isolation persisted. And by a loss of hope is driven home a new type of fear of the new type of unknown, of uncertainty. Every ghost month that passes brings more shades of grey to these rose-coloured glasses. <sighs> now lacking in urgency. Two, pain and guilt. You may feel that the loss is unbearable and that you're making other people's lives harder because of your feelings and needs. with a heart of lead. Not dead, but heavy. Emotions levied by the embankments of deflection. Constructed in a flood of legally mandated disconnection and structured in a defense of any kind of introspection. Three. Depression. This may be a period of loneliness and isolation during which you process on and reflect upon the loss.
the good days. Anything is possible. Bliss as comfortable as an old pair of running shoes that know the soles of my feet more intimately than I do. And in the space between an in breath and an out breath of God, we dance to the sounds of the sun. where all our friends are beautiful and we are all one. But on the bad days, On the bad days, I don't want to be awake. Nana naps become emotional energy, entropy traps with tree-like movement. Passion saps as purpose dies. Like the slow suicide of cigarettes. Focused on a sizzle reel of selected regrets. Four, the upward turn. At this point, the earlier stages of grief like pain and anger have died down, and you're left in a calmer and more relaxed state. this demotivation, this stagnant staycation in the self-doubt hotel, stuck deep down in a rut like in Mirakami's well. And so, even if only with baby steps, as leaps of faith begin to be leapt, Back to the world my heart has crept. Now knowing that my purpose is to connect. Five, reconstruction and working through. You can begin to put pieces of your life back together and carry forward. So I sing, I sing for all of those who have lost their way, I sing for all those who have lost their belief, I sing for our connected purpose, and I sing for our collective grief. I will fight for those who never had a voice. 
I will fight for those who were never given a choice. I will fight for those for whom respect was left on the shelf. In the end, you know it's easier than fighting for myself. It's easier than fighting for myself. Acceptance and hope. This is a very gradual acceptance of the new way of life and a feeling of optimism for the future. discovered my purpose, a rhythmic melody of words in our one when I bathed in the power of our connection. Mm. And then I rediscovered my purpose when In a studio in Tokyo, I met Art again. like it was like meeting a long lost friend for the first time again and again and again and again because with art every time is inspired just like that first time and art she touched my heart in ways unexpectedly and now she lingers there in perpetuity, dancing and singing and butterfly winging me painfully, pleasantly. <sighs> and Art, she told me about her favorite films and of the music that makes her lose it and how she decided to choose it, this artist's life. And, uh, I could see Emily superimposed over anime and neon glowing pieces of me with blurred blue lines. Lost in translation, whispered goodbye times that clear up any confusion as Art sits smiling next to me, sharing in my sake. And I, I felt the bioelectric pulse then spark as art led me by the hand through the after dark lit streets of Shinjuku's golden guy. And suddenly art was everywhere. A scent on my clothes and in my hair, on paper canvas, in ancient quotes, on wood and food and on lampposts and endless on izakaya walls. Art spoke silently through humanity's worldview and through art's eyes I saw a more beautiful version of myself and of all of you. And by then I could already see because by then 
Art was all over me, whispering in my ear and snatching glances at my periphery. That butterfly fluttering lightness of endless possibility, of senses tensing in the tightness of anticipated glee. Yeah, I felt odd that night And odd she felt me Sometimes I meet God. Она неожиданно появляется в облесках света. Suddenly appearing in light, музыке, in music, словах, in words. Она не приходит даже когда я зову. She doesn't even come if I call her. Исчезает столь же неожиданно. And she disappears at the drop of a hat. Люди говорят, что она богиня театра. Но я не ограничиваю ее этим понятием. Когда я встречаю ее, то ощущаю, будто стою на открытом, просторном лугу, босоногая. Трава такая влажная. It's so lush. Такая приятная. It's so comforting. Вдруг я чувствую себя музыкой. I feel like I am music. И все вокруг становится прекрасным. Everything becomes beautiful. У меня за спиной крылья свободы. Got the wings of a free spirit. И мои ноги, and my feet, руки, my hands. И каждая клеточка тела чувствует. Every single Моё pore танцу. is full of feeling and balance. Я бегу. I run. А затем я отталкиваюсь от земли, взлетаю в самое and небо. Then I kick the sky into the air. Неважно, как высоко я парю. Мои крылья не растают. No matter how high I fly, my wings won't melt. Я сжимаюсь и подтягиваюсь. I flex and stretch. И звук ее раздается в моей груди. And she echoes in my chest. Костях. Bones. И плоти. And flesh. Я в порядке. I'm all right. Я единая с землей. And I'm here with the earth. Art stares to and through me and I imagine her fighting with her past and joy emerging from moments that were previously sparse as she dances ecstatic improvisation on the grass stage of Minami Ikibukuro Park. And I want to make art see through my eyes, to filter my senses from her size, to be with those who know, who believe that art lives in the heart she is worn on the sleeve and art she reawoke in me 
The second time she spoke to me and every single time subsequently a, a base reaction to the unforeseen passion of endless possibility. And even though I left art standing on that platform in Shinjuku, our meeting reminded me of the most real of real truths. That she has always been here with me, waiting patiently to be set free from behind the walls of a locked heart. And now it's permanently in a tattoo on my arm. In a tattoo on my arm. In a tattoo. On my own, in a tattoo on my own. Someone tell those people to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs>